Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Chris. I've been in the IT field for over 20 years. And today we're going to be taking a look at the MX23.4 libretto release. And 23.4 is of course the fourth refresh of the MX23 release. Consists of bug fixes, kernel updates, and application updates. Highlights include XFCE 4.18, MX package installer now shows all applications in an enabled test backport tab. MX live USB maker defaults to Lux2 encryption. MX USB unmounter has UI improvements. MX tweak has a KDE option to disable enable Plasma Discover's auto start SysTray updater notifier. Fluxbox ISO now includes a job scheduler. Many, many bug fixes, many, many language updates, many new applications. So if you scroll down here, there's the 32-bit ISO and the 64-bit ISO. So go ahead and download those. You can put the ISO on a USB stick via Etcher or just drag and drop onto your Ventoy device. And I'm going to go ahead and boot that up and I'll meet you at the install. Okay, and here we are at the install. We're welcome with the MX welcome screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on install. It's checking the installation media. Okay, I'm just going to go next here. It sees our hard drive here. We're going to go ahead and hit next. Format and use the entire disk. Yes. And here we can name our computer, our computer domain and the work group. I'll just leave those default. Yes, US time zone needs to be Denver. And this is cool. You can either use a 24 hour or an AM PM. I like that. Go ahead and put in your username. super secret password and you can choose to auto log in or have to type in your password each time I'll go ahead and leave it default you can also enable a, a root administrator account oh it doesn't like the spaces all right and we're just waiting for the install to finish at this point Automatically reboot the system when the installer is closed. Yes. Nice little splash screen there. All right, we've made it through the install and I've just logged in here. So let's go down to the system tray and we'll click on our updates. And I'll do a reload here. We'll do a mark all updates and then apply. And the Synaptic package manager is going out and getting the updates for us and installing them. Successfully applied the changes, automatically close, sure. Now that the updates have been installed, I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the system. 
All right, let's pull up the terminal and do a Neo fetch. We're running the 64 bit version of MX Linux on kernel 6.1.0-25 packages 2114 Debian packages the shell is bash 5.2.15 desktop environment xfce 4.18 window manager xfwm4 okay and to install software there is an app called the mx package installer so I'm just going to go into that and we'll do inkscape so I just typed ink and then if I highlight that and hit install, it's gonna ask for my password. Then a Katie gets that. Go ahead and hit OK. Process finished successfully. All right, let's close that and go to super and we'll just type Inkscape. And there's Inkscape. So it's very easy to install software on MX Linux. All right, let's take a look at the system tray. At the bottom, we've got our super. Up from that, we've got our computer, which is we can toggle on presenter mode, and we've got settings, which is like a power manager. We've got our eject, Bluetooth, our updates, brightness, our clipboard, network, and our sound. And then up from there, we've got our file manager, browser, time, and then the logout button. All right, let's take a look at about MX Linux. You click on that, it shows the MX version, Debian version, desktop, XFCE version, and then supported until. It's also got some more information about your system. Okay, for this next one, let's go into the Deb installer. And I've gone ahead and downloaded Google Chrome in advance. So we've got the uh, Chrome dev file. So I'll go ahead and open that. And the following packages will be installed. That's great. Click on install, put in your password. It's just a graphical interface to allow for installing Debian packages. And I pressed any key to continue. And let's go into super and let's type in Chrome. And you can see that it installed. All right, we're gonna look at the job scheduler. So you come in here and you can add a specific job that you want to run at a certain time. So if we were to add here, time stream, put the minute, the hour, the day, the month, the week, and then they've got simple, which hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, at reboot. I'm just going to cancel out here and then put up whatever command you want to run at that specific time in there. So pretty, pretty handy little utility there, the job scheduler. All right, let's take a look at the MX boot options next. Put in our password. And so you can increase or decrease the timeout, basically the grub splash screen there. You can come in here and add or take out parameters of your grub menu. You can change the background. You can add the uh, splash screen theme, which is MX Live logo. You got other options here. And you can even preview them. It's pretty cool. And you can go with very detailed or just the default string. So basically just a uh, utility that you can modify grub with graphically. Okay, let's take a look at the boot repair. If for some reason you messed up your grub configuration, you can come into the boot repair and reinstall the grub loader, repair the grub config file, do a backup, do a restore. And typically you would be on a USB drive, you would boot up to the USB drive and come into here. If your install wasn't booting, that's how you would do that. All right, let's take a look at the MX cleanup. So you can select the users that you want to target you can clean folders, cache, and thumbnails, clear the apt cache, clean flat packs that are unused, empty your trash, delete log files, and you can schedule this to happen every boot, daily, weekly, monthly. And there's also the uh, disk usage analyzer. You can open that and look in there. So very cool MX cleanup utility. 
All right, next, let's look at the MX Conky. So if you notice, we've got the date and the time over here with our hard drive, memory, and CPU. It's like a widget that's on our desktop. So we can go under Conky and customize the way this looks. All right, so if you wanted to drag it, you can hold Alt left and drag it around. And then you can also day, long, or short. So the day, if you wanted to abbreviate that, you just click on short. And that's going to go to Friday with FRI. Same thing with the month. You can make that short. And then we can do Alt again and move it around. And because this is XFC, if we go to Super and then type Appearance, we've got the XFC Appearance module here. So we can make that dark. And then that's going to follow all the windows. We've got our icons where you can change those different fonts and then the menu event sounds and window scaling options okay let's take a look at wallpapers so if I right click on the background and desktop settings and we'll expand that out you can pause the video here and look through all the wallpapers I think this one stands out to me I'm gonna go ahead and select that one Looks pretty cool the blue goes well with the conky widget we've got as well Let's we'll see if the toolbox will run on MX Linux. I'm kind of interested to see. So it's github.com slash the Linux IT guy. And we want toolbox. And then we're going to scroll down and we want this right here. I'm just going to copy this. And then we're going to go into terminal. I'll we'll paste it in. Yep, there we are. Here's the toolbox. So we'll just say we want to install Opera, Bottles, MPV, and we want to remove LibreOffice. And under the Administrator tab, let's go with the Swap Fix and Fast Fetch. We'll go ahead and click Run. And we'll just let that go. All right, it wants our sudo password. We'll go ahead and put that in. I'm going to say no to the swappiness fix just so the fast fetch can uh, go grab that and build it. All right, and as you can see, my toolbox finished. So it's basically just a utility. It makes it easy to go in and install things, remove things. And then there's some uh, power management system optimizations as well. So I'm just gonna quit on that. If we were to do a fast fetch, you can see that that does work. Fast fetch is installed. So now let's go and see about the Opera browser. Yep, and there's Opera. And then we also uninstalled LibreOffice as well. So when I type in Libre, you can see nothing's there. It's been removed. 
Okay, let's do an H top. The CPU is between 0 1 2% and our memory is at 1.09. Our swap is at 264k out of 3 gigs. So we'll go ahead and do a control C on that and let's see if B top is installed. It's not, so let's go grab that real quick. And let's do a B top. Okay, our CPU one zero one two three percent, and our memory is about one point four three gigs, sitting here idle. And you can see all of our processes over here on the right side. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, check out these other ones. They're packed with helpful and informative information. This has been Chris, the Linux IT guy, and I'll see you in the next one.